Marshfield Community News is powered by Tiny and Sons Auto Glass. So Jeff Granatino has been the superintendent of Marshfield Public Schools for nine years now, and he's decided to retire. So now that there's an opening for superintendent, the school committee as a group got together and said, let's create a search committee. So we created a search committee of 13 people, including myself as the chair uh, and Laura Brait, also a member of the school committee. The two of us sit on that group and we reached out to stakeholders from across the district uh, and got them involved and have people representing each different group of stakeholders on that committee. And we are working to review applications and interview candidates who have applied for the position. Um, it's a long process, it's certainly a rigorous process, um, and it's one that we've decided to do on a uh, pretty aggressive timeline. We are in the process right now of interviewing semifinalists, and the search committee this coming Monday will announce three to five finalists. Now the next step after that is that those finalists will be coming to do a site visit at Marshfield Public Schools. They'll uh, meet with stakeholder groups of parents, they'll meet with groups of students, they'll meet with groups of staff and faculty. After those site visits take place, we'll be right here in this room at 76 South River Street at our central office building on Saturday, December 16th, beginning at 9 a.m., and that's when we have the public interviews of the finalists. The school committee will ask questions of the finalist candidates and then uh, deliberate afterwards, and on Tuesday the 19th, we'll deliberate some more and uh, have a motion to appoint one of those candidates as our next superintendent. We have 3,800 students who depend on having a strong educational leader, and so do our nearly 700 staff members, and so do all of our parents and families that have students in Marshfield Public Schools as well. It's imperative that we select somebody who has all of the qualities necessary to be a strong, effective leader. So the finalists, again, are being announced on Monday, December 11th, and at that point, shortly after that, we'll release a schedule of community forums where parents, staff, and students can come ask questions of these folks. We want them to take that next step Come to those community forums next week and come to the interviews on Saturday, December 16th to hear the answers from one of those folks who will be the next educational leader in Marshfield. I hope the new superintendent, like I said, brings a level of approachability that we've seen with Jeff Granatino. I also hope the new superintendent brings a commitment to academic excellence, to academic rigor, and to making sure we're serving all students. Marshfield Community News is powered by Tiny and Sons Autoglass.